Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. I'm Mr. Viperfang, and last time, we got ourselves a level 2 sword. And now we can shoot lasers out of our sword, if we're at full health, or a little less if we have one of the special rings equipped. I don't think I put it in my ring box just yet, and I don't remember if we actually have it or not, but... If we have a certain ring equipped, we can shoot lasers, even if we don't have, uh, full health. But yeah, anyway, today, um, we're gonna go on ahead and continue with the, uh, story, and that story involves heading over to the level 7 dungeon, which is apparently inside the body of a fish. But before we actually head over there, there's something I need to take care of in the, uh, Goron, Goron area here. Gorn. I said Gorn. Um, yeah. Uh, I forgot to open up this treasure chest. That was close. That Goron almost got in the way. Yep. Oh. Damn blast radius. There we go. Alright. What's in here? It's a gash of seed planted in soft soil. Oh, I think I will, but that'll be at a later time. Uh, there's also another thing I need to take care of here, namely the location of a piece of heart, which I didn't get around to grabbing in the last episode. I planned on getting it, but I forgot about it when I actually did the episode, so... Eh, gonna take care of it right now. Also, there's a breakable wall there, which I'm gonna go on ahead and break with a bomb before we head into the present. Oh. Awesome. And what's in here? Ooh, it's a hundred rupees. I bet that's gonna be useful later, for no particular reason. All right, I'm gonna go on ahead and warp into the present over here. And we should be on the other side of that uh impassable rock. Look at that! I warped right on top of it, and now we na we have, uh, nine pieces of heart. Overall. Also, what's in here? Oh, it's the other side of the, uh, cave. Okay, uh... I think that's all I want to take care of over here, so I'm gonna go on ahead and make my way down south. And the easiest way would probably be, uh, Gale Seed, to be honest. All right, this'll be easy to get to from here. Oh yeah, last episode we also got the level two shield, which I admittedly have not been using it very much in this playthrough. But yeah, we have a, a level two shield. It's the iron shield. And it's it's immune to like-like, so I can get eaten by them as much as I want. Why would I want to get eaten by a like like though? Brain, can you help me there? If not, can you please stop? But yeah, I can get eaten by a like like and my shield will not go away. Oh boy. Um hmm. Can I get over there? Nope. Oh, this is a bit of a pickle, isn't it? Um I think I'll just go on ahead and warp over to Linus City, actually, and get and get what I uh, want to get to from there. All right. Now I should be able to make it to where I want to go. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. We are in the big deep ocean, and we can actually dive anywhere we want in this ocean. So if we wanted to, we could just go here and just swim anywhere, basically. Uh, where I want to go is actually over here, because where we need, need to go is uh, this way. But in this time, we are currently blocked from going that way. Let's get some insight from the natives. 
My family's been fishing this island since my grandpa's day. The island is drifting to the west so long ago it was further east. So... If we go into the past, we should be able to see the island a little further to the left. So let's go on ahead and try out this little theory. I was right! Here we are! We are now in the past, and we are able to go this way. Well, let's see what's in this cave now. Uh, something we can't get to, so that's a crapshoot. Our switch hook is not long enough to get over there, so I'm not gonna bother. Zora Village, Sea of Storms. Oh, well, I want to go to Zora Village, because that's probably where we're gonna find that big old fish. Also, um, there's a lot of weird blob things in the water. I wonder if that's anything bad. And now we're in the present. And we should be able to get over now. Yes! We can go this way and... Oh! Uh, switch hook. We can actually reach this one. There we go. I like that we can actually just use uh, our items willy-nilly in the water, at least at least some of them. I know there are some items that we can't use in the water, like our seed satchel by itself. However, the seed shooter works, and ember seeds catch on fire in the water. That's weird. All right, now we're over here, and we should be able to safely go west. Yes. All right, inaccessible still. Go down this way. Anything special that I missed in the water? Nope, okay. Alright. Can't go down that way. Um... Maybe if we can find something in the present? Oh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. Alright, so let me try going into the past over here. All right, let's go underwater now. Ah, haha! -ha. Ooh, ooh, that was close. I almost ran into the blobs there. But yeah, uh, the main gimmick of uh, getting over to this area is using the Song of Ages to using the Tune of Ages to warp back and forth through time in order to navigate the uh, waters here. Oh, and uh, we're in Zora Village. Welcome, young mermaid. This is Zora Village. All right, I've got the mermaid suit on, so they assume I'm a mermaid. All right, uh, welcome to Zora Village. All right, and we see that there's some uh, things over here, some houses and some uh, water lights. All right, so there's a treasure chest over here that I want actually want to get to. It's another gasha seed, yay! I seem to have a lot of those, don't I? Oh, I only have two. Well, never mind. Thought I had more than that. Oh. And just more houses. Okay. But yeah, uh, on the surface, it looks like it's just a bunch of uh, islands that are not connected. And we have a uh, sea trees that we can warp to later. That's actually going to be very important. King Zora's palace is beyond here. Well, let's go on ahead and see the good old king. Ooh, there's a treasure chest over there. Uh, what do I expect up there? This was the palace of our ruler, King Zora, but long ago the king fell ill. Ever since, we've continued on with no king. That which the king looked after, the key to the eyeglass isle library, it's been lost. Oh, so you guys don't have a ruler. Yeah, that sucks. So something in the past happened to the good old king, which caused his uh, lineage to break. And as a result, whoa, as a result, I get 200 rupees. Yeah. And as a result, they don't have a uh, royal line ruling the Zoras, basically. So we got to find a way to fix that in the past. So... Yeah, I'm gonna go on ahead and uh, warp into the past and see if there's anything I can't do. There we go. 
All right, now let's try talking to the good king. King Zora's palace is beyond here. Take care not to be rude. Well, I'll, I'll try. No promises. All right. That stairway leads to the throne room. The king is ill. If you must see him, make it brief. The pain! This is the end for me. To think the prosperous royal family could fade in a generation. The pain! Hmm. King Zora's face looks so pain, doesn't it? Hmm. This is the end for me to think the prosperous family could fade in a generation. The pain. Oh, nothing else to say? Uh. There we go. We believe we need a special medicine called a magic potion to cure King Zora's illness. Where can we find a magician to create such a potion? Well, I think I know it's just, I think I know just the person to do that. If I can get to the friggin' stairs. Yeah, sometimes uh, precise movements underwater with the mermaid suit are not the best. But we actually have a, we actually have a thing we can take care of in the uh, present in order to help in the past. All right, first thing I'm gonna need to do. Gale Seed! Warp me over to... South Lina. And then, we're gonna go through Line of City. There's a specific woman that makes a potion here in the present. And we need the 300 rupees in order to get said potion. We can also do this in the hidden shop in... No, we can't do that in, hid... in the hidden shop. Uh, the hidden shop has a gasha seed, not a magic potion. So yeah, uh, the witch is the only person that can uh, sell us a potion. Or we can chance an encounter with Maple to try to get it from her. But the last time I did that, she was able to get the potion before I could, so... Yeah, this is gonna be the best alternative. Magic potion, 300 rupees each. Okay, that syrup's magic ointment. Works great when your hearts run out. Or, you know, to cure a fish of his illness. All right, so... We have our magic potion, and now we shall head back into the past. First, to the Isles. And now, to the past. Oh, the tree's here, too. All right, I can dig it. All right, so we have our magic potion. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we give it to the king. Is he gonna be cured, or is all of this just uh, chasing a red herring? This is the end for me, to thank the prosperous royal family, blah, 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 blah. Give him the magic potion, yes. Is this magic potion? Hmm. It looks very suspect, but if I'm to die, it can't hurt to drink it. Glug, glug. Ah. Ew. It's awful. But it flows through me. The royal line is saved. Who are you? Well, thank you, Link. The filthy water that flowed in from the east lately must have made me ill. I will never forget you. What do you wish for, Link? Huh? A big fish? Do you mean Jabu Jabu? But Jabu Jabu is the guardian of us auras. Calling him a fish is an insult. Watch your language. Uh, okay. But I did save your life. Um, I guess in the past, he's a little too young for us to enter him. But I know where he is, so let's go on ahead and see what he looks like in the past before we continue. Yeah, there he is. What a cutie. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, indeed. The seas are filthy. Cough, cough. I can't swim in peace. Well, that's your problem, isn't it? I seem to be just fine. I'm not losing any hearts whatsoever. Oh, I don't want to go in there. I want to surface here. Let's go on ahead and talk to uh, the royal line in the present now that we've got saved them all. Okay, underwater, through here. Oh, there's a lot more Zoras around here now. Welcome, Traveler. This is the palace of the Great King Zora. Ah, you have a lot of good things to say about him now, don't you? All right. Ooh, he's got red on. 
Great healer, what do you ask? You wish to enter Jabu Jabu? My permission is needed to enter Jabu Jabu, but I can't permit just anyone to see our guardian. Anyhow, the filthy seawater has left Jabu Jabu near death. If you say you must, then you then find a way to get rid of this filthy seawater and save Jabu Jabu. Will you accept this quest? Yes. Very well, then take this. We got the library key. This is the key to Eyeglass Isle Library east of here. It is, an, it is an ancient library, so I do not know if this key still works, but perhaps you can research why the seawater is so filthy. I trust you to save Jabu Jabu. Alright, so we have an objective, and that objective is due east of here. So, that's gonna do it for today, and next time, we're gonna head east to the library and see if we can't find something in there to give us a hint on how to... Clear all the poison out of the seawater. Later.